Hi everyone, in today's video I will be um, explaining as I promised you in the last lecture to remodel this uh, exam one for uh, Dynamo course and this time I will just try to make it as uh, parametric as possible. And just to recap, uh, you can have a go and have a look at the previous video. I'm going to drop the link here if you want to see the previous uh, fast method or less accurate method. And in this example, again, we're having a bridge with the width of a 10 meter and a length of a 50. There is a column in the middle uh, that is actually, uh, I think, 20 meter height exactly in the middle of the bridge. And there is 11 cables. And now I'm going to make this a parametric number on both sides of the bridge. And same thing with the 10 and 15, 20. I'll just make everything parametric. Uh, just to show you the difference and again just to recap what we said these are, are just lines and surface that represent later on that will later on can be replaced by uh, columns and uh, more advanced of it uh, families so without further ado let's just uh, jump to dynamo and and do that uh, so I'm gonna start by the normal way which is having a point by coordinate <clears throat> And the point by coordinate, you can just uh, assume that this is the edge of the bridge, or you can assume that this is the center of it. It depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, we can make this is the center of the column here. That might save us some time, but that will make a headache with the you know minus half of the width. So I do prefer that uh, you know. Uh, just to push this one to the left and push one, this one to the right by the amount of half of the width as long as the width is actually 10. So what do we need here? We need a slider in order to make everything parametric and that can be actually uh, fully computational and, and, and actually allow a correct uh, generative design uh, process for it. So you can send that to a generative design platform as long as you have a slider input and the cloud can change for you the values. Anyway. So I'm going to assume it's, as we said, it's 10, the overall width. Uh, double click on the name. And let's change it to width. And we're going to do the same for the uh, depth or length, whatever you want to call it. And I think last time I recall it was 50. All right. So maybe the maximum value, you keep it 10, 100, you make it 50 as it's less. And that's 100 will be, you know, satisfying. So now uh, here we have, we said the, this point will be in the middle of the bridge. So we need to push that edge five meter to the left and five meter to the right. So whatever the value again here should be A over two. So half of the value. I know the answer five because, you know, I know the fixed started value, which is 10. But when that change, this should be half. And that will do the trick. You know, that, that's uh, exactly what we wanted. It's going to step away from it now we have uh, 10 in X and actually that's wrong it should be 10 in Y so that's how it should be look like now I'm gonna copy these and paste them and instead of a I will say minus a and I'll get the start point and the end points uh, sorry the start point of the uh, length value so it's a good idea if you just select those two guys together and just group them all right I'm just gonna say start points okay now the end points will be on the other side of the universe so i'm going to copy copy paste this one and i will be initiating the end points okay and the end point will be exactly as the same value as the x uh, they have the same value as x with one exception that they have the uh sorry the y they have an x value of a 50 which is the entire length okay and that's that's easy and uh, fast as you can see now we can um, you know just go ahead and uh, I make a polygon just to get rid of the base if you want so just go to polygon by points so in here we need a list of course because that's a plural condition so you need a group of points well those are individuals so just make a four points and don't forget to make them you know running in the correct sequence so if this is the first this one okay so that's the first now this is another start if you're gonna go that way I'm gonna go that way so that's the end 
and then the other one which is this one here and then this one so this one now we have a rectangle clear one that represent the edges of this uh, bridge and I can just go ahead with the surface dot uh, by patch okay and then just patch this area to get a surface that's done you know look like the lower the lower surface is actually completed now while we are here we need a, a line that runs from this point to this point so I'm gonna drop that down uh, like this and let's go for a line and line by start point and end points and you pick any start of those so let's say this dude connected and of course should be with this guy and so I'm gonna define a line here as you can see all right now well, that's my line now that line need indeed uh, a curve dot parameter a curve dot uh, point add parameter in order to be divided the parameter or the division is actually should be following I think it's it's need 11 cable but we should make it parametric as we said so let's say from 0 to 1 which is the end move into a value of unknown which is a cool so in order to do that let's see what we can do we have a zero which is the start of the point one it's the end of the point and then we have a value an a the value should be one over x indeed so one over x or one over a and that's guarantee if you give an integer like this Okay, that's not not more just doesn't go to hundred, let's say maybe maximum twenty to ease the pain and have shorter slider. And of course not one cable, maybe minimum let's say of uh, zero actually. Let's say minimum three cables, that's much better. And let's say we have eleven or ten. Let's say the fixed state the state we have which is eleven. So if we did this, let's see the values we have first let's put the this guy on the input side like here and then let's see now these points should be ah uh, sorry these are should be points so let's add a point for it so we can see them and okay that's an x or wait, are we ah uh, what i'm doing okay that's my bad so these are the points in here i forgot completely that i'm doing here <laughs> don't point them but I'm don't tell anyone Cool. So how many points we have is 12. Cool. Uh, because we have in the sequence uh, from 0 to 1, to 1, and 0 is actually counted as a value, so we're going to get 11 uh, plus the 0, which is a 12 value. That's normal. All computational design have this issue, so don't freak out. All what you need is just to make a simple math, which is a minus 1 here, connect this dude here and then connect this dude here and we're gonna get exactly the right number so get rid of the 11 because we need 11 right I'm just using it as a test value get rid of 1 reverse the value which is 10 you get an, a 10 again plus 1 which is 11 so that's beautiful now let's test let's say I want 6 cables uh, so 6.12345 always a flex my friends uh, which is a test what you have done and uh, of course the name should be changed into a number of cables at each side okay whatever just number of the cables and that's it these are the points uh, that's the line let's shut those down and now we need the column in the middle or the line that represents later on the column in the middle so we need a point in the middle all right so let's go for a point that's my point and this point is just basically uh, a over 2 of the overall it's actually be in the zero axis for the x value uh, sorry for the y value while the x will be represented by a divided on 2 which is the depth so we, we're gonna need half the depth so a over 2 let's do that so this is what we want and then we're gonna give this to the X so this is the point the Y will be zero you know because we are in the actual in the middle of the center here, in the center of the bridge okay so that's the point now we need to translate that or 
if you want, I don't know, just add a height value. So, okay, so you're going to have another uh, control V, control C, control V. So that will be the height of the cable uh, or the height of the column. I don't know. And there, in the case, it was 20. And just connect this to the Z. Okay. And let's arc rotate. Are we okay? Yes, we are. Okay. You can use translate, of course, if you feel happy about it, just to translate the point up. Uh, shame. Uh, copy and paste these guys. And just use this to define a line. Okay. So that's the line exactly in the middle of the bridge, as you can see. And of course, uh, the line is just a matter of representation. All we need is this one, which is the top one. And now we can have another line here. Notice that I'm keeping, or you should keep the outputs at the same location. So this is an output, don't forget that. This cable in the middle is the output. I'm gonna maybe need to use it. So I'm gonna keep it on the same level as that. Just make the habit of having the inputs and the outputs and then the processing it in the middle. Uh, now, what is this dude? I have completely forgot what I'm doing, okay? Uh, right, so these are the two point. That's one, that's two. Now we have this line, and I don't know why do I, why did I duplicate it? Oh yeah, I was copying and pasting it, okay. So, uh, let's get rid of those. All right, so that's the output line, which is this one. Uh, okay, uh, that's the end line. Now I need the top point for this dude. That's what I was trying to say. And then we need the point at the curve. So just connect. And I'll put it in the output side. So that's the left side of the cables, as you can see. Now, uh, all what we have to do is to repeat these, uh, which one? This one. Curve the point at parameter. Uh, I can just uh, redivide the whole thing, and that will be a big waste of uh, time, or just use. A translate so I'm gonna try to use a translate which is I don't know why Autodesk doesn't name it copy but anyway so I'm gonna translate geometry by direction and distance or by X and Y so I'm gonna get this dude here and as long as I know they are here so we need to push in Y in the overall amount negative Y of course the overall amount of the bridge width so we're gonna go with the bridge width we can have it, whatever it is which is 10 now and let's connect here, and as I said, it's gonna need to be uh, minus A, so minus A. And that's what we have, that's done. We have the points here, so we can steal this guy here, and again, the top point is correct, the bottom one is the wrong one, and voila, that's it, technically that's it. That's the bridge. Okay, let's flex this dude and see if it's working properly. So let's say I don't want an eight. I don't. I don't want a ten. Let's say I want five. It's working. Flex the bridge. Let's say I want a hundred. Yeah, baby, it is working. All right. So what else? The height. Let's say ten. Okay. Twenty. Right. So everything is working. Uh, number of cables, 20, I have no idea, all right, all working properly. Again, I do prefer to get those and uh, make them as one. Okay, let's change the color, it's a good idea to keep a code for your brain. So, you know, the green is the process, these are the input and maybe, you know, I don't know, that's the outputs. And I uh, just change the color into cyan or blue, and that's it. So you can later on recognize whenever you look like these are the input and these are the output geometries together. Anywho, so that's I think the one of the best ways to do that, and it's way much more organized and it's fully parametric as you can change anything, and also it's fully organized to to know what you are expected to get as a geometry, so you can later on translate this geometry into rivet ones. I wish that you find that uh, video useful. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.